In this video I want to show you how to trace pictures in Adobe Flash. Now, unless you're some amazing artist, it is quite tricky to use the pen tool and the paintbrush and whatnot to get professional looking images in Flash. So I found the way that we can trace pictures and it's quite simple to do and it does make your apps and animations look a lot more professional. So what I've done is gone onto Google Images and I found a picture of this little monster. And we're going to have a go at tracing him today in Flash because we will be using him in the next tutorial to create a mobile app. So what I'm going to do is head on over to Adobe Flash and I'm going to make a new air for Android file today. And it will just take a sec to load. Once it's loaded we're going to change the size of our document to full HD so I'll make it 1080 by 1920 pixels. And then I'll go up to my magnification and choose fit in window. And from here I'm going to go to file and import and then import to stage. And either bring in a photo that you would like to use yourself to trace, or in this case I want you to find that little monster that I have saved in the ITS folder. So I've got him here. And when you import him to the stage, Flash will just place a copy of that image onto your stage. I'm going to grab my free transform tool from my toolbox and holding shift I'll just make him a bit bigger so I can see him. I might even zoom in a bit. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Now in my timeline down the bottom here I'm going to rename layer 1 to original image. Okay, So this is the original picture that's from the internet and I'm going to lock that into place. Okay, We're not going to touch that layer anymore for now. What I'm going to do is then make another layer and I'm going to call that traced image. Okay, So on top of our original image we're going to start to trace this. So I'm going to zoom in a bit here by pressing Control plus. So I do want to probably start up around the top of his head here. So I'll go in even a little bit closer so you can see how I do this. Now, there's a few ways you can trace pictures in Flash. Okay, you can use the pencil or the paintbrush if you're really neat. Um, if you're pretty handy with the pen tool, the pen tool is a good tool to use to trace. But a tool that's good for beginners is the line tool. Okay, so I want you to select the line tool from your menu, uh, sorry, from your toolbox. And I want you to change your line color to something bright that's going to stand out. So in this case I think bright pink is definitely going to stand out on top of this little monster. And what you need to do is find a starting point. So I'm going to start just under the hairline. I'm going to click and drag down to where the start of that little horn is and drop it into place. Now I've got this pink line running down here. What I'm going to do then is hold control on my keyboard and my mouse cursor will change. And as I hover over that line you can see it's a little bendy line under my black arrow. So while I hold control I'm going to click and drag that line and match it to the shape of the monster's head. Okay. I'll then go down and I'll start to do the horns. So I'll go across to about here, clicking and dragging, then I'll hold control and bend that line into shape. And now it's just a matter of going around and as close as you can, making sure the lines join up and bend them around the shape of the monster. Now if your lines aren't connecting for some reason, like they don't snap into each other, you can go up to your view menu, select snapping, and make sure that snap to objects is checked. If that's not checked, your lines probably won't connect as you want them to. So it's a good idea to have snapping turned on, and then your lines will easily connect to one another. Okay, so I'm just going to go around here. I'm not going to worry too much about the shading. I'm just going to trace over the main colors in this little monster. Okay, so that's his horn all traced. What I can do now is just grab up my fill bucket here, or my paint bucket tool, sorry. Select a fill colour, I'm going to select this reddish colour from his horn over here. And if I just click on his horn, it should colour them in. Okay, I could, um, I'll try and find a yellowish colour that's going to be similar to that, and I'll just click on his horns again. And there's his horns coloured in. Okay, usually I leave the colouring in till the end, so I'll grab my line tool back again and I'll just go around and trace the rest of this monster and then we can fully colour him in. Okay, you may want to fast forward the video if you don't want to watch all this. OK, 
Okay, so as you can see, we've got our monster all traced now. All the outlines have been traced. Okay, we just need to do his face now and there, but I'm going to colour in the outside of him first just to make sure everything's working. So I'll colour in my horns over here. I'll grab that reddish colour and colour in those again. It's looking pretty nice. I'll grab a light blue. A slightly darker blue. Just going to colour in these bits. And you might have noticed that his foot wasn't colouring in just a moment ago. Now, as I click on it, it's not colouring in. So that means some lines aren't fully connected. So I'm going to zoom in. We'll see if we can suss out the problem. And I found it already. I forgot to join one of his toes up. So I'll just join that up. Doesn't matter if it's a little bit crooked. Okay, so we'll um, grab a blue colour again with our fill bucket, colour it in. It's looking pretty good now, I'm going to get that other toe. He should be able to colour his fingers in too, so I'll grab an orange colour. You can see my tracing isn't spot on, but near enough is good enough. Okay, so that's looking good now. So I'll just quickly trace his eyes here and his mouth actually pick up my zoom tool and just draw a box around the bit I want to zoom in on. Okay, so I'll quickly do this with a line tool for the mouth. Uh, we've got a blue line there, we might want to go back to a pink for a minute. I'll do this in a few stages actually. For the centerpiece of his eyes, I'm going to use the oval tool for that. So I'm going to start right in the middle there. I'll just turn the fill color off for a moment. Right in the middle, I'm going to hold Alt and click and drag out. You can click on that circle and just nudge it around with the arrow keys if need be. Okay, we'll do the same again. Hold Alt and Shift and just drag out. Good, and just a little white one in there. Okay, so let's have a go at colouring these in now. I'll grab the fill bucket again. So we need to pick up white for our first colour. It's for the outside there. Reddish colour for the inside. White for there, white for there. And we'll go a dark maroon colour for the inside of the eye. I might just do that one too, but what I want to do with that is make it a little bit transparent. So, um, I need the alpha here down 40%. That just makes it a little bit see through. Okay, so I should be able to colour the rest of him in now. I'll grab my fill bucket and I'll do his teeth here. I'll just put my alpha back to 100%. Choose white. Get his teeth coloured and we'll colour his body just a blue colour. I know there is different shades of blue on his body, but we'll just try and go with the one. Yeah, that's not connecting up to colour in. So what I might do is go across to this little circle down here and say close medium gaps for us and then it colours in. I don't really like the looks of that blue, it's a little bit dark, so I might go a lighter blue. That looks a little bit better. Okay, these blues here I think are still a little bit dark. Actually what I might do... There we go, 
so that looks a bit better. So that's our monster all coloured in. The one thing we do need to change now is the outline colour of him. So I'll just zoom back in a bit so you can see what's going on here. He has got that ugly pink outline around him. So what I'm going to do is just click and drag over the top of him and change this stroke colour to black. Okay, what I'm going to do now is delete the original image, so I'm going to trash that layer. And we're now left with the layer that we drew ourselves. And it doesn't look too bad. The eye does look a little bit funny with that white piece there. But, so you can leave that out if you want to. But that's basically how you do some tracing in Adobe Flash.